We're going to learn about zero power, which is pretty much anything to the power of zero. We're going to explain how to do this by, by looking back at some of our old rules and saying, okay, what does this mean? A to the power of three is actually saying A times A times A. And we're dividing it by A to the power of three. So it's going to say the same thing, A times A times A. Now, we could do it using our subtraction rule as well. We could say A to the power of, well, they're dividing there, so three take three. And what that's going to leave us with is A to the power of zero. Let's go back up here to our expanded version and say, okay, I divide A is just one. A divide A is one. And A divide A here is, is one again. So what we're left with is one times one times one, which is actually just one. So what we can say now is a to the power of zero equals one. And that's our rule. Anything to the power of zero is equal to just one, right? There's nothing fancy to it. That's as simple as it gets. So x to the power of zero here equals one. Four to the power of zero, same thing, equals one. This time it's a bit different. We've got 16 times x to the power of zero, which is saying 16 times one, which is 16. Okay, so we can't forget that the other numbers are still legitimate numbers, they're just multiplying by something that equals 1. Now we've got a to the power of 4, b to the power of 0, c to the power of 4, which is saying the same as a to the power of 4 times 1 times c to the power of 4, and we are simply left with a to the power of 4, c to the power of 4. Okay, now this one here is going to combine a lot of rules that we've learnt. So let's go take it step by step by step y to the power of 4 times y to the power of 3, we are multiplying together something with the same base, so we are going to add those indices up there, and then on the bottom of the denominator there we've got the same thing, so it'll be y to the power of 5 plus 2. We are then left with y to the power of 7, divide y to the power of 7, and we're in the same situation that we were in here. What we've got is if we use our subtraction rule, y to the power of 7 take 7, which is y to the power of 0, which equals 1. So all of this together actually equals just the number 1. So it doesn't matter what is a, um, what the base is, when 0 is the power, it equals 1. But we have to be careful to consider that there are other numbers or other variables at play as well. So we don't just get to say this whole thing equals 1 because there are other variables that do not have zero as the power.